morning everybody, I'm the Yorkshire Fossil Hunter. Welcome back to another episode. I've come to Speeton today and first found already. I found this lovely block and I think uh, if you can you can see that can't you Charlie? I think it's some sort of pleura or a malpheus, something like that. There's another piece that'll stick on there. So yeah, I've only been here five minutes, tides on its way out. I'm, I'm going to try and have a quick hunt here and then go somewhere on the Olderness as well for a, for a, make a day of it, why not? I'll see you soon! So the last time I was here it was it was very barren, I think I think I remember rightly I got a duck uh, and I think maybe an ill day, some, just a couple of common fans there seems to be, I mean it's not you know prime conditions but there's there's plenty of rocks about so there's always a chance when it's like this and there seems to be plenty of movement at the base of the cliff some big boulders to, to look through so hopefully we'll have some good fans today it's really worn so I won't be collecting it but there's loads of gastropods in there hopefully you can work them out some big in there but too worn and too big for me to collect in that condition It's been a while since I found an Ildi, and look at that, just sat in the clay for me. <laughs> I love it when that happens, lovely. <clears throat> now this is typical of Speeton. I mean that ammonite is absolutely lovely, but there's no way it's going to come out in one piece. I'm going to try and get underneath it and lift it as a water with as much clay as possible and then wrap it up and hopefully it'll survive the journey home because I mean that's lovely isn't it? Right so just before I lift it I thought I'd you know, take a picture of it again because I mean I really am going to try my best and wrap it up as, me as best as I can but you can see all the cracks in it so I mean hopefully I should have brought some super glue I need to start bringing some bloody super glue because I could have really you know glued it up before I moved it but I ain't got any and I'm not going to leave it because you know someone will come along and, and probably break that or even the tide will come and, and wash it away so I'm going to try and move it as best as I can and hopefully I'll be able to wrap it up you know I might even I might even wrap it up in clay you know to try and like put it in a little parcel but fingers crossed because that's lovely I've just spotted that underneath there and that looks very ammonite like let's see is it an ammonite or is it just my eyes playing tricks I think it might be my eyes playing tricks do you know what it's some bloody modern <laughs> it's like a bloody I don't know. It's definitely something man made. It's like a wheel or something, a tractor wheel. Bloody hell. Not an ammonite, false, false alarm. So this is quite interesting because I haven't been here for a long time while there's been a load of boulder fields about. So there's a few fragments kicking about. There's a few big ammonites but too big to, to do out with. But it'd be good to have a little explore for all this there should be some decent stuff I mean that's part of a large ammonite you can see the the shape of it but I mean there's there's not a lot you can do with them they're, they're that big and they take that long to bloody prep trust me I know and they are a pig to prep you could try splitting them on the beach but I've never had any luck splitting them. There's loads of stuff like that, which is fragments of ammonites. So, I mean, it's worth coming just to have a look at the big ammonites because they are good to see. 
but I wouldn't really advise unless it was you know recently exposed and, and, and looks really good condition I wouldn't advise anyone I one off the beach that is of course unless you wanted to or I might have stopped you but there's a bit of a well we'll, go, we'll call it a rock field there's a bit of a rock field here we'll have a look through here before we get off hopefully one more decent find will will sort me out for speeding and then on to the next place As you can see, it's bloody raining. Uh, I've come to Maffleton today. Weather's not great, but there's a few boulder fields on show now. Amazing. I don't know if you can see that. There's been a great big cliff fall here. I mean, this is just one big mass of mud that's come down. So over the next couple of weeks, this will all be getting washed out, which looks promising. Yeah, there's quite a few falls happening, so it'll be worth having a close look to them. Right, I'll get back to you when I find some fossils. So there's my fans from today. I did, I tried recording, but it was just absolutely oying it down. It was blowing a gale. So I thought I'd um, come back to the to the garage, put the fire on, get nice and warm, and do a little roundup while I'm while I'm in here. I might even uh, show you a thing or two while I'm in here. So I had a good day. I got a couple of nice bits of jet which is always really nice to find. So they'll go on my jet pal. I got one, two, three, three bits of coral for cutting. Let me get down a bit, this will make it easier. And that probably, maybe a bit of coral as well. That's quite nice. Um, what a lovely crinoid block again. I'll probably cut and polish that. That'll be really nice. And then, I don't know why I picked that up, but it'll go in the garden. Nice big set nodule. You've all seen what they're like now. Really nice. Couple of big fragments. This one's really nice because it's it's hard to tell on camera, but it's really, really prioritised. Um, so yeah, that'll be good. Won't be a date map at home without a devil's toenail. I've got a dac in there. Could have split a little bit better, but it's still, still nice. Um, I've got a little arny block. There is, let's see, five or six in there, so that should be a nice little arny block. Uh, that was quite cool as well. I've got a bit of bone. I think it's. I think it's Ice Age because it's got a nice bit of colour to it. So that's yeah, that's pretty cool. I've got a nice Bellamite, they're always nice. That's cool as well, nice pinna pinna valve, pinna shell, the another shell next to it. Yeah, that's quite cool. That's quite muddy. I don't know what's in there, but there's probably some. Otherwise, why would I have picked it up? Uh, lovely little arnie block. 
beautiful like that. Split really well, I'll just probably, well I might, I might have a go at penning that centre out just to make it a little, bit more presentable. A bit of crystal, dog's tooth as we call them. There's another, you can see the ammonite there. I think there was, there was one somewhere else. I know there's one there near my thumb. And there's a bigger one in there. Oh yeah, yeah that'd be quite cool. That good day for any box. Uh, and then I've got two more fans. One's really nice. I mean that's that's a big ammonite, and I think the centre's there, but it's squashed. But I mean you can see them bloody spines along there. So I'm gonna prep it from this side, and hopefully there'll be some in there because it's. I mean, it's very, very squash. I might, yeah, it might be a bit of a non-starter, but I've got to give it a go. And then my best find of the day was, let me get back up because my knees are hurting. Oh, my best find of the day was this great big, there's actually <coughs> another one there. I didn't see that earlier on, but... So yeah, great big nodule, probably come from up Whitby way. And then look at that. And the keel on that is absolutely perfect. So I just hope it preps well. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a nice chunky. I'm sure it's an Elegantisaurus. But yeah, that, that should, all being well if it preps nice, that'll be absolutely amazing. But yeah, there is something there. It might be another. Could it be? Might be part of that. I mean, I, I'm not sure until I get prepping. But yeah, good day, all in all. Nice to get back and uh, get warm by the fire. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pick some good out of my collection. And uh, I'll show you. So there's a nice little bonus as well. I did go in the in the prep shed, and this is the ammonite I found earlier on. Thought I'd give it a prep, and voila! Look at that. Couple of little ammonites next to it as well, so that's always nice. It's an absolute beauty in the centre's all there. Beautiful. Happy with that? Hey, <laughs> happy days.